Hi, I'm Mark Duggan. I'm from Indicad. I head up the support uh, for Indicad. And what I thought I'd do is put together a set of three videos on troubleshooting sheet metal. Uh, for those who are involved in uh, sheet metal, there are times when we get uh, sent parts that are imported. Uh, in other words, they have no features at all. And we would like to bring them into SolarWorks and then look at um, look at how we would turn them into a sheet metal part and flatten them. So uh, in this uh, first instance, um, what we'll do is we'll go to the convert, convert to sheet metal. I'll collect all bends, uh, 0.7, which is the thickness, and I'll go OK. You can see the pink that it's around here. Um, that's not a good sign. We'll get rebuild errors, and it's unable to thicken the surface. So it's a... Um, typical error that you might get. So what, what we uh, would do first is have a look at the corners. Uh, in this case, it, zoom in, I can see that I've got a split here. And just looking at the behind of that as well, I've got this sort of an edge, which, um, which usually causes problems in the conversion. Uh, the top looks OK. Wrong there. This one looks okay. There's a been bent. It should be all right. Um, I'll go down to the bottom here. Looks like oh, I've got another split down here. Okay, so there's a few. There's a few small pieces in there. So the method um, the method that we'll use uh, for this particular model is uh, using an offset surface, and this. Uh, this has a fairly good success rate. So what we'll do is we'll go up to Insert, we'll select the feature, and we'll select zero millimetres. If I right click and then select uh, Tangencies, uh, just for a quick look, looks to be like it's selected all of them, and I'll click OK. Next thing we want to do is actually get rid of the imported body. So I'll I'll pre-select that, it'll make it a little bit easier. Go to uh, Insert, Features, Fleet Body, yep. Um, if you had have picked up the surface one, uh, you could always uh, go back and, and pick it from the, uh, from the fly out here. All right. So I've deleted the body, and you can see now that we've just got a surface, um, zero thickness uh, to, to work with. Now, looking at the problems that we had, the first thing I'd do with this model is um, I'd open up a sketch on this face. Uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit. I'll grab a square here, and I'll just I'll just cut away part of this. Go down to insert curve. I want a split line. Select this face. Okay. And then I'll delete that face off. So just select the delete uh, rather than patch or fill. Uh, we'll just whiz this around. Another sketch here. Same deal. That corner. Okay. Split line again. This face. All right, done well. Now the only thing we've got is these uh, these nice little splits that have turned up. There's a few different ways you can do this. Uh, remembering that this is this is a curved face. Is the best the best way to do this is to use something that um, not a lot of people use, but it's in the surfacing tools. Um, you, you could use Surface Extend and and try to get this to work. So uh, well, actually, we might we might do that. I can I can pick this edge and then uh, up to this point. All right, so that all looks good. Now I'd, I'd fix up the other ones as well. Now I'll go to the um, convert to sheet metal. I'll select this. 
that's 0.7, collect all bends. So as you can see, uh, it's got a nice green colour. If I zoom in, I can see that uh, it's offset to the outside, remembering that we selected the inner face to do the offset at zero millimetres. So it's done that, and uh, I'll tick that off. And uh, it looks okay, we've got a flat pattern. I'll go up and try and flatten it, and you'll notice that it's come up with an error. All right, so what we can do is uh, expand the flat pattern feature. We can see that that bend is the one that's giving us problems. Uh, if I go in and actually suppress it, uh, you'll see that everything else flattens okay. So this model isn't very far away from um, being able to be used. Uh, we just have that one bend that's a bit of a problem. But uh, what I have known from experience is that the command that we use, the extrude on the surface, uh, sometimes there's a bit of a problem. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll grab the rollback bar and bring it back up just under surface extrude 3. And uh, I'll delete that, delete that feature. As I said, uh, one, of the, one of the features that isn't used very often is the, uh, one of the surfacing tools called Untrim. So we'll grab Untrim, select an edge, and you can see it extends the edges, merges with the original, and uh, it works a treat. I'll roll it back down again, and just zoom it out a little, and then I'll uh, flatten it. Uh, oh, I'll just go back and uh, unsuppress that bend that was giving us trouble, and then hit flatten. Just sinking there a little bit. As you can see, it's come out really well. If we zoom in, we can see um, there's no split in that corner, and uh, again, there's uh, you can see the small split there. So there's a few different ways. I mean, you can you can unfold the bends and and do that, uh, uh, do an extrude and, and merge, etc. But uh, using the arm trim is best.